Happy Sunday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm not wearing green, but it's okay. This, this will be my green. Okay. So, my husband just found some ants along our um, sliding door window. So, of course, I'm going to hop on here, find out a non-toxic way to get rid of the ants in our house. Because we have two little ones, I'm not about to have like raid or anything be placed in our house where we can... It's not even good for our health. So, um, we have this... Um, I have this oils plus glass book that has different recipes. I also knew there was a recipe with like peppermint that helps get rid of um, ants in the house, but I know that there's other powerful agents as well, so I'm using the recipe in here. It has 10 drops peppermint, 10 drops thieves, 7 drops lemon, all essential oils, and then um, some alcohol-free unscented witch hazel, and then water. So I'm using it just in a 2 ounce um, glass spray bottle. And this way we're just going to spray it along um, the bottle, or not the bottle, spray it along the trail for them to help kill them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And even in this um, oils and glass book, it has it on a two ounce bottle. So this is two ounces. So I did ten drops peppermint and then I'm going to do 10 drops thieves. Sucks because we had sort of a little ant problem last year too. And one of, um, hold on, 8, 9, 10. Um, somebody I know uh, gave me a spray with peppermint, um, I think it was just peppermint, eight, uh, water, and witch hazel and that helps get rid of it as well. So. Now I have my own stash that I can make, so. And that was before I was even doing any essential oils. Alright. And so the lemon, this thing says that the lemon is to help mask the scent trails um, that, you know, the ants leave behind, as well as um, the lemon is toxic to ants too, so. Awesome. And then here's my witch hazel. So I'm just going to add like a, it says a, t a teaspoon of um, witch hazel, so I'm just going to kind of do a little spray. And basically the witch hazel is just to help um, mix the essential oils and water because what ha tends to happen with oils and water is it separates. So the witch hazel, and it, it kind of doesn't help like in a spray, it kind of just has it spray in a, like a stream as opposed to spraying like as a like a shower, like a spray. I can't think right now. So now I'm going to put some water in here. This is actually not going to smell too bad. Better than having Raid and all that nasty stuff. All right. So I'm just going to shake that up. See. So, so you see that spray? That's what the witch hazel helps to make it do. Um, as opposed to if you just had the water in there, it might just spray forward. So um, yeah, so once again, lemon, peppermint, and thieves, non-toxic way to get rid of ants in your house, especially if you got kids in the house, you got um, pets in the house, even just for your own self, so that you're not breathing in those toxic fumes. All right, um, I might actually bring this over there and spray it and then see um, how it goes. All right. Look at these little boogers. You see them? Ooh. All right, so one more day. I'm going to go ahead and spray them. Spray them on their tracks. Spray a bunch of them. Sorry, I'm going to lose you guys. See that? They just stopped. They like, that one literally just died. The ants.